Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Minecraft to go here and today I'll be teaching you how to make a Minecraft 1.7.2 craft bucket server. All right. Craft bucket server, uh, the advantage is over a normal server is you can install plugins and it is actually much better if you want to go public than private because there's a lot of cool plugins you can do to keep your players managed or do huge constructions or whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, the first thing we want to do is go into an internet browser of your choice for your flight I'll be using Chrome and we are going to go to dl.bucket.org uh, The link is in the description. Oh, that's buck tit not buck it. There we go And we're gonna click this giant green button. Wait a minute. We said version 1.7.2 not version 1.6.4 if we zoom in it's off screen almost now you can see that it says version 1.6.4. That's because there's no recommended build yet for 1.7.2. However, if you're watching this a long time into the future and you see that you want to make it for Minecraft version 1.7.3, if they ever release it and there's a recommended build right there, feel free to click that giant green button. We're just going to click right below it, alternate versions, and we're going to download the latest recommended build for our version, which is 1.7.2. On a side note, uh, this tutorial will work for any version of Minecraft um, unless they drastically change things and you will know if they drastically change things but this should work uh, basically for everything ever okay <laughs> so now that we can see wherever you downloaded it to that there's a jar file uh, I would recommend putting your server on your desktop so I'm gonna make a folder called bucket tutorial all right Bucket tutorial. So now we're going to drag this jar file in there. Apparently both of them got renamed. But we want to uh, rename this to craft bucket. Okay. Craft bucket dot jar. Um, and now if we click this, it should it might download files. Um, it might not. It's not always the most reliable thing. So what we're going to do is if you look in the description, you should see this following code. Hmm and you're going to copy the 32-bit first okay and we're going to make a notepad file and you're going to paste this in save it to your uh, wherever your folder is it has to be in the same folder where the jar file is uh, change the save as type to all files and call it uh, start.bat and that stands for a batch file you can call it banana frenzy if you wanted to okay but you just have to make sure that is it ends in .bat. So it's not start.bat.txt, it's just start.bat. Save it. And now if you run the, the this new batch file and it doesn't work, try the 64-bit code instead of the 32-bit code. That might be why. If not, um, there's probably something. You have an old, outdated Java version. That's all I can help you with. So now click the start.bat and we should say it, we should see that it is loading libraries which means it is successful and it's going to download uh, you can see here in the folder that's downloading files and now it is creating the world uh, the, creating the world below this line so everything here it has created the world for um, the level 0 which is the normal world level 1 which is nether and level 2 which is the end and it took about 17 seconds uh, I might be longer for you, might be shorter if you have a better computer than me. So you can just type stop, uh, S-T-O-P, uh, enter to stop that. Um, and then now there's a couple files I just want to go over. Um, ops.txt, this is where you'll put your name, okay, um, name like that. So my, my Minecraft username is minecraft to go. So if I wanted to be opt or also known as having all the super awesome powers, uh, with even with all the plugins and all the default server stuff, uh, commands so put your name here if you want uh, to op, op people and I would really uh, on a side note just just make sure you trust these people okay they can really run your server and give you a crappy time believe me I've had it happen to me so make sure you really trust them with this power you're basically making making them God on your server okay so you have to trust them so I'll put notch here because I trust them and now if we go into this whitelist.txt, here we will add names uh, to people who we want to go on our server if we enable whitelisting in the um, server.properties file, or server properties file, right uh, here. So obviously you want to add yourself, okay, or else you won't be able to log on your server. 
Um, add uh, people who are definitely on your ops file, and then add people who want to come on your server and that you know them. Um, so if you, if you, however you, you may know them. So I, I want to put Helmholtz on my server, um, and we want to put uh, Jeb. I don't know. I, I and let's see. We put. J K L M N O P on a server because these are my friends. That these are the only people I want on my server. If you have whitelist enabled, um, these are only people that can come on your server. If whitelist is disabled in the server.properties, this file doesn't matter. It's just ignored. So now we talked a lot about the server.properties, but what is it? Let's open it and we can see that there's a bunch of stuff here. And if you look in the description, you'll see that there's uh, a link that I can tell you everything about this. I'm just gonna go over on uh, a couple of the things that uh, I think are important. So for server-ip, this is probably the most important part of uh, setting up a server uh, correctly. We got uh, over here, search CMD, which stands for command prompt, and type, and type in IP config. Uh, this is in your, this is in the description of this video, video as well with pretty much anything if you have questions. And we're going to look for the IPv4 address. Now, there's two of them. Uh, do the one that, uh, do the very first one under wireless LAN adapter and wireless network connection six. It might be a little different, but look, it has, it's going to be the first IPv4 statement. And we're going to, we're going to type that in to the server dash IP 192.168.1.102. That is my IP. Uh, yours will be different. Um, and now the, there's only a couple more other things I want to go over. The rest of this, you can either figure out yourself or Google it if you don't know. Uh, level world. Uh, if I change this to banana, we uh, next time we run our server, uh, instead of loading the world from the world file, it will create a banana file. Uh, so, well, sorry, banana folder and world folder. So it'll make banana, banana underscore nether and banana underscore the end and so this is where you can have multiple worlds in one folder and transition seamlessly uh, between them and now the last thing I want to go over is uh, or, okay two th or two things I want to go over is whitelist we we're talking about the whitelist so if I only want those people in that file to come up uh, to come onto my server you type true um, and finally the MOTD this is where what is displayed when someone saves your server. So I'll call this Minecraft to goes tutorial. Yay. The really big smiling faces. I actually want a bunch of them because they're all really happy. So yeah, that's those are the most important things in here, in my opinion, uh, for a, a noob level care, uh, person, which is which might be you, unless you know what you're doing and you just need to whatever. Okay, I'll let it go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you run start.bat, it's gonna say loading libraries and libraries, um, libraries, and then it will uh, create files for banana, ban banana nether, and banana the end. And that's what we wanted because we changed it in the server.properties. <coughs> and then well, for the last thing, I will go over uh, a couple of the commands. So if you type help here, you can see there's a bunch of commands. So I wanna ban I'm gonna ban. Um, I'm gonna ban Notch. He was being a griefer on my server. You can also do this from the in-game chat of your server by typing slash then the command and all the parameters afterward. So ban Notch. So we do uh, slash slash ban, or um, sorry, we did ban Notch. And if we checked our banned players, he's banned here. And um, you can uh, here it would say reason uh, banned by an operator because we didn't we didn't specify any parameters but that's basically how you will do commands from here and now we can pardon notch and if we check in our banned players he's no longer there yay so yeah that's it and type stop <coughs> press enter press enter again and the server is saved stop and that's how you do a um a safe stopping of your server instead of closing out of the command prompt so thank you for watching YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I think it was quick, but I don't know. I do tend to over talk things like I'm doing now. Uh, if you want to hit that like or subscribe button, either one, if you're feeling generous, thank you very much. If not, that's perfectly okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun.